Okay, um, welcome back to our step-down method problem. Uh, when we last left our heroes and heroines, uh, we had just finished allocating the utilities, 70% based on meter hours, 30% based on square footage. We're going to now go ahead and, based on the order that was decided, we're going to now allocate out maintenance. But before we can allocate out maintenance, we originally started with $4,200 worth of costs, but we got some costs from the guys over in utilities, didn't we? So now what we have to figure out is how much are we actually going to allocate out? Well, we're actually going to allocate out the $4,200 plus what we got. So our allocation basis for maintenance is the $4,200 plus the $504 we got based on our metered hours plus the $86 that we got based on square footage. So we're actually going to allocate out a total of $4,790 because that's how much cost we actually had. Based on the question, it says we're going to allocate that out based on maintenance hours excluding utilities excluding utilities. These utility guys don't get anything, do they? So let's take a look. If over here where I'm kind of keeping track, I'm going to allocate out $4,790. I'm going to do it based on maintenance hours. So I'm going to come up top for the very first one and I'm going to find in my preparation department how many maintenance hours did I have? Well, I had 3,000. And I had 3,000 of 7,000 hours, didn't I? Except, what did the problem tell us? Excluding utilities. So the same way that I did up here, and I excluded the 3,000 square feet up here, now, instead of that being 7,000, I'm actually going to be allocating based on 6,000 maintenance hours because it said excluding utilities. So based on that 6,000, my first question is in the prep department, what did they have? They had 3,000 divided by 6,000, which gives them 50%. How much am I going to allocate out? The maintenance department, remember, I'm not allocating out just what they started with. I'm allocating out what they started with plus what they got. So it's 3,000 times divided by 6,000 times 50% times $4,790, which means I'm going to take that times 0 0.50. They're going to get $2,395 worth of maintenance cost over in the prep department. Up here in mixing, um, maintenance hours was 1,500. But remember, it's 1,500 of 6,000, not 7,000. So I'm going to take 1,500, I'm going to divide it by 6,000, and what I should end up with right here is 25%, because it's 1,500 divided by 6,000 equals 0.25. They're getting 25% remember, of the total of $4,790, which means they're going to get $1,198. Going to just go through and do the exact same thing all the way across for maintenance hours. Packaging, 600 divided by the 6,000 times, way down here, remember, watch me, 4,790. I'm not going to allocate anything to utilities. Maintenance is one of those ideas where, hey, I don't give myself costs. I'm getting rid of costs. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to do 600 of the 4790 and then finally 300 of the 4790. So let me see what that's going to look like when I get done. Lo and behold, once we finish allocating based on our percentages, what we end up with here is we realize that if we add all of those up, 
it actually comes up to the four thousand seven hundred and ninety dollars worth of costs that I had um, the four thousand seven ninety of course being the forty two hundred plus what we got so since all of these plus all of these add up to this and this equals this and what we know is the maintenance department is good because they've gotten rid of a hundred percent of their costs now before you go any further the next thing to go ahead and do just so that you've got it is we know that both material handling and factory office got some costs didn't they well that means that when we go to allocate out material handling now I've got to count not just their original costs but everything they got from utilities plus everything that they got from maintenance this is why we talk about this being a step down method is because I'm actually making little stair steps I'm actually the steps are going down but as the numbers go up remember I'm accumulating all of my costs and I'm going to get rid of all of them so I'm going to get rid of the 7200 plus which is my original first step when I get to my second step always remember that it's going to be plus this when I get to my third step it's going to be plus this and yep you're right when I get to my last step it's going to be all of this plus anything else that they got so let's see what we're going to um, send out in terms of material handling all right based on what material handling tells us is material handling is going to allocate out their costs on a different basis they've got two thousand eight hundred seventy five dollars original costs plus the 302 and the 43 that they got plus the 479 that they got so they're actually going to allocate out three thousand six hundred and ninety nine dollars worth of costs and I'm just kind of putting these over here so you all can keep track of them what did they tell us that they were going to base it on well they said they were just simply going to split it up they were going to split it up between three departments they were going to split it up between preparation mixing and packaging based on just a straight percentage which is so refreshing so the problem tells us that preparation is going to get 45 percent I haven't that shouldn't have showed up sorry about that guys kind of lost control of my computer screen there for a second um, so I've got three thousand six hundred and ninety nine dollars worth of costs and they've told us that 45 percent of it is going to um, preparation so I'm simply going to take three thousand six hundred ninety nine dollars times forty five percent is going to give me one thousand six hundred and sixty four dollars is going to the preparation department they told me that to take their costs for mixing department and give them thirty five percent of it so when I do thirty six ninety nine times thirty five I get twelve ninety five and over here in the packaging department they said take my three thousand six hundred ninety nine dollars worth of costs and give the other twenty percent to packaging which meant the packaging ended up with seven hundred and forty dollars so what we know now is we know for sure that we've gotten rid of a hundred percent of our cost because it was 45 plus 35 plus 20 percent equals a hundred percent If we weren't certain about that then what we can do is we can simply come through here add up the dollar amounts that we allocated out the 1664 the 1295 and the 740 we're going to double check ourselves over here and make sure that those add up because I need to zero these guys out over here. So 1664, 1295, 740, yippee, 3,000, 
$699 in costs have now gone away. So now we know that they are zeroed out. So the last one that we have is factory office, and then we're going to allocate some factory overhead rates. So stay tuned.